I've had some great teachers since I was a kid, and a, a really great teacher makes all the difference in the world. But one comes to mind, Edgar Gregerson uh, from Queens College. Um, this was my uh, freshman semester. I was um, uh, taking all kinds of film courses and communications courses. Uh, but uh, some of my fellow students who knew that I was a little innocent, a little uptight, <laughs> Uh, said, oh, you have to take Anthro 64. It's an easy course. Take Anthro 64. Um, it was an anthropology course. I had very little to do with that sort of thing, but I took it, and um, uh, it was a, a huge uh, haul, and there was Edgar Gregerson up front, and he said that he was going to teach us uh, about the world um, through the prism of human sexuality. <laughs> Um, so he was an anthropologist who studied uh, uh, sexual practice um, uh, across the world. And I was like, okay. And um, uh, he, he gave us a slide presentation, an overview of the course. And the, at the very first slide, we saw something that was completely bizarre. I don't think I could even describe <laughs> what it was. Uh, but there it was uh, on the screen. And the whole class, 150 people said, ew. And uh, Edgar Gregerson, uh, he, he said something that was, uh, was, was marvelous and changed my life. He said, no, no, no. He had a British accent. Not ew. Ah, how interesting. <laughs> you must say, ah, how interesting when you see something that you haven't seen before. Um, and, um, and of course, everyone laughed, but I took that seriously. And as the course unfolded, um, uh, Gregerson showed us not just uh, sexual practices, but cultures, uh, primitive cultures, historic cultures, cultures around the world, and the way that they approached uh, sex. And for me, some kid who lived in Flushing, who uh, thought about things like good and evil, and who was uptight about my own um, uh, uh, post-adolescent uh, sexual issues. Uh, I was looking at this and I was, I was really unchained. I was freed because I realized that there was a spectrum of behavior that, um, um, that our job as human beings is to look at, at other human beings and think, ah, how interesting and then begin to process why these things were happening and whether or not they were harmful or anything like that. Um, and, um, and for me, it, it's like Captain Picard or, or being on the bridge of, of an exploratory uh, uh, vessel uh, through life when something strange or unusual or weird or scary happens, I say to myself, ah, how interesting. And that'll do.